Hello everyone. Welcome to How to Learn channel. In this exercise, we are going to see the steps involved in performing a call backup of a snapshot stand BDB using RML. You may wonder why is this guy not why is guy, why is this guy is talking about uh, a cold backup of a snapshot standby? I have a particular purpose for doing it. I'll be talking about this at a later stage. <coughs> I a snapshot database is created for a reason, right? We wanted to test something which we cannot do it in the primary DB. So a feature or something that you wanted to test with the database being in read write mode, but you really cannot test this in primary, but you wanted to test it in the database with those data. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to disable the database world and uh, I have some actions to perform. So I need to have a backup of the database with the database vault disabled, but I cannot really disable it in the primary. So I need the backup version of the database with the database vault disabled. <coughs> so I'm doing this in the Stanby database. And you may wonder, um, I really have not seen any document which talks about this particular option. If you go into the or Google and if you search backup of data guard, physical standby, snapshot standby, you will see people talking about backup of the standby database. So that that's no concern, but none none talks about a snapshot standby. Okay, so the steps involved really are verify the DB in, is in snapshot standby mode, and if it is in an intended state, which is having the database vault in disabled state. And if it is in mount state, then perform the backup. And just a caution notice. And you ensure you have TDE and other setting already secured. TDE taken care in case you have one. So I faced an issue. So that's the reason I'm saying. Okay. Otherwise, you cannot perform the backup. The DB will backup will fail with TDE not open. Alright, uh, this is the environment we wanted to perform the ban. Uh, this is the DB on which we want to perform the backup. Environment settings are okay. Let's see what state the database is in and recovery status. <coughs> the database is in mounted state already. It's a snapshot standby. Alright. Okay, it looks good. No MRP process. It is it's expected so and the DB is in intended state the purpose whole purpose of this exercise is to have a version of the DB without this fault yeah false no problem so now let's move on it's verified DB is in already in mount state let's kick off the backup I'll tell you about the encryption wallet, right? So I'll just show you. It's open with auto login. Okay, I shouldn't be worried about this now. Let's see if my backup succeeds. It's kicked off and uh, whether it is able to back up my control file is what I am wondering. I have this path already created, so I have no issues. I verify this. And I... Oh, good. It's performed. Nice. This is what I was looking to. Let's see if we have all the necessary backup pieces secured. You can see all the... So the control field auto backup is here. So this is... RK logs, this is flashback log, this is control field auto backup, this is the DB backup. I'm happy the... I got the backups. So... That's uh, that's the main objective of this. Let me check if there are any alerts in the database alert log. When we tried performing this backup, we didn't see anything. Okay, these are connectivity issues between the primary and the standby. Uh, 
All right. So this is looking good. I'll okay. So the objective of this exercise is achieved, guys. Thanks for staying with me. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to How to Balance channel for more videos. Thank you.